All right, so I had to move on from the other, that other site. It was great views and it was really uh, a nice area, but I just wasn't getting any sleep because the wind was just too much and my tent was making a ton of noise. So um, I knew of this spot that was probably about 30 miles, 35 miles south of where I was just camping at. And it's got really good wind protection, so I figured I'd go down there and give it a shot. The only thing is, is that I didn't anticipate all this snowfall, and so the accumulation was quite a bit more than I anticipated. I had to dig out a pretty big area to pitch my tent. But got it all set up, and now I'm rocking. I'm going to be at the site for probably another week or two. Looking forward to it. reason and logic and objectivity and kind of it's whether or not you use that element wisely or whether you not that let that element over go outside go ahead you wanna go walk let's go on a walk come on let's go come on go ahead All right, got the new camp set up. Snow here is a little bit deeper than I anticipated. Let me put my foot down and I'll show you. So it comes up to roughly mid shin there. <clears throat> so what's that? A little over a foot. It's probably about 15 inches. And then uh, the snow actually hardened over here so I can walk on the, this snow, which is uh, Means it got pretty cold last night when I was digging. I was digging this out <clears throat> right as the sun was going down. And what I need to do today, if you see these these lines that are right here, these guidelines sticking off the side of the tent. Hey, sweetie. <clears throat> I need to dig out some areas in the snow here, and then drill into the ground. I end up getting um, some of these screws that I could screw into the ground for my tent stakes going forward, just because I was relying too much on the passive solar. Uh, doing its thing, but as a result, I'd, I was really limited sometimes if it wasn't very snowy out or I'm sorry sunny out and so This is nice because it gives me more flexibility with just setting up anywhere I mean even if the ground's frozen it doesn't matter But uh, here's the interior of my tent how I set it up this go around So just want to show this to you real quick um, In the back area over there. I kind of switched it around I used to have that to the as where Sierra would sit but now I've got my little I don't know if you can see it over there on the left kind of partially shown but I've got my Cabela's little table and then my little Helinox chair that's a great place to just sit and chill by the stove and then Sierra can sit and sleep right up here and then we're kind of side by side when we're sleeping that way she's got a little bit um, a little bit more of a public area to hang out in I noticed back over there she'd never go there and just hang out she'd always want to jump up on my bed but now that I put this over uh, her bed from over in that area switched it to here she's hanging out here all the time which is great so all right, but I think first off, before I before I do those tent stakes on the side, I think I'm gonna run to town and get some firewood. So let's go do that real quick while the weather's halfway decent. Then it's supposed to start getting cloudy later. I wanna pick up a snow shovel too to be able to re remove more snow because now that I can just easily drill my tent stakes in and out of the ground, I can just go anywhere with this tent. So I'm gonna be moving around a bunch, which would be awesome. So, all right, let's head into town.
All right, so we got a little bit of a storm coming in right now, a snowstorm, which is awesome. It's, I can see the clouds coming in over the Continental Divide. So what I want to do is I want to clean out my stove really quick because last night I went through a ton of wood. It was pretty cold out. And so there's a lot of coal, uh, coals and ash. You can see it right there. Let me zoom in. I'll show it to you real quick. There's lots of ash that's in there. And this ash will insulate the bottom of the stove uh, to where when I'm, when I'm, you know, if I've got a good flame going on here, it's pretty warm in there. There's still some coals hot. When I've got a good flame in here, if there's a lot of ash in the bottom, you won't feel any heat coming off the bottom here. And you don't want that. You, you want to have it to where your stove is always going. Um, now, a lot of the, a lot of the stoves that houses have, let me zoom back out here. Um, a lot of the stoves that houses have, they have an insulated bottom on the stove. And so you won't ever feel the the heat on the bottom of a stove that's in a house if it's like made for a for an actual house but for tent stoves you want to have the heat coming in from all angles you want to have it from the bottom the sides the top the back everything so that's why you always want to keep your stove clean so um what i'll do is if there's still hot coals in here that i could use to get a fire going then i'll carry this i carry it's this little gardening tool i'll carry this uh you can just shake it like that and it'll, it'll leave all the ash on the underside and the and the big coals on top that are still going can stay so you just go like that and i'll, and I'll fill up this this entire um metal bucket but by the way if you're if you ever winter camping with the wood stove a metal bucket's the way to go you know you can use it for like uh for the ash obviously for cleaning out the, your stove um but you can also use it for as like a a waste bucket for like trash or for any sort of gray water and then you can dump it out so a metal bucket when you're camping is is freaking priceless really good tool to have but anyway i'm gonna clean this out and then i want to go outside and show you all oh yeah those clouds are getting dark out there so it's gonna the storm's gonna be here shortly and i can't wait